Hi, my name's Ronnie, and I have a bottle of water. What? So sometimes when I go to a restaurant and I order water, people don't understand me. I'm in Canada, I'm speaking English, and I said, water. And they look at me strange, and I go, uh, you know, water? A oh, water. Yes, water. No, no, it's water. It's a T, right? W-A-T-E-R. This, in Canada, we call <clears throat> a bottle of water. And I go, oh, that's really crazy because it's a bottle of water. Now, I get called out all the time on having an accent. Everyone has an accent. You have an accent, depending on where you're from. Everyone has an accent. So, first of all, I hear people go, Oh, I don't got an accent. Oh, mister, you have an accent, okay? Everyone has an accent, and I'm going to teach you how to improve yours or damage English, I don't know, to speak with an American-Canadian <laughs> accent. Oh, my God. Where's this going? Um, so, I'm going to teach you a trick, and the trick is about the T. I am very excited about this because I've been thinking about this for, oh, maybe 10 years. Why do Canadians and Americans say D? It's a T. I found the reason and I'm going to teach you. Let's have some water, shall we? Um, we have three, four. I'm good at counting again. We have four rules, okay? So, the T pronunciation. Sometimes, as I told you, we actually say the T like a D. So, uh, this is the rule. Rule number one, if it's between, if the T is between two vowel sounds, so check this out. This I is a vowel, and Y, sneaky bugger, sometimes is a vowel, but it's a vowel sound. So we don't say ability in Canadian and American English, we say ability. That's really strange, people. Canadians, Americans, Maybe you were drunk or cold when you were doing this. I'm not too sure, but it's just nonsensical, really. We don't say computer, as we should. We say computer. Hey, look at the computer, eh? <laughs> so Canadian to say a at the end. So again, between two vowels, U and E are vowels. We're going to pronounce it like computer. <laughs> this is crazy. The next one, as I said in the beginning, uh, water. A, E are vowels, and it's going to be said like water. When I was in Jamaica, they said water. I was like, yes, good, got it. <laughs> um, again, so what I've done to help you, you're welcome, is I've just underlined the vowels. So A, E, 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 er, 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 er. And again, this one, watch out, I and Y. Y is a vowel sound. So all of these guys, Magically, you're going to go from speaking your language to speaking Canadian and American English with a crazy accent because we say heater. The thing that keeps you warm, Canada's cold in the winter, we don't say heater, we say heater. And this is even more confusing now because it looks like header, but it's actually this pronunciation. Heater. Turn on the heater, A, eh? it's cold. This word, if you say it, not better in my <laughs> books, if you say it with a Canadian or American uh, pronunciation crazy way, we say better. Then we say matter. And then, even though we went to university, we say university. A, eh? you following? I don't know why it's crazy. Just say the T. Or write the D. Um, the other rule with the T sounding like a D is, is if it's between a vowel and an L or an R. So, as I said in the beginning, I can't even say it, bottle. <laughs> it's not a bottle, Ronnie. So, if it's between an O and an L, it's going to be said like a D. So, we say bottle. This is my vowel A and this is an L. We don't say battle, we say battle. Into battle, soldiers. One of Ronnie's favorite words. Dirty. So, 
We don't say dirty because we have an R and a vowel sound. So this is the example of a vowel and an L. This is the example of a vowel, Lulu, and an R. Okay? So vowel and L or vowel and R. With our numbers, again, we have a vowel and an R. So these ones are going to sound like a D. So we're going to say dirty, 40, and 30. Have you uh, turned 30 yet? As a joke, we like to say, or some people like to say, it's my dirty 30. We won't go into detail about, about that. I will let your imaginations run wild on that one. And <clears throat> just make sure you say dirty. Because no one's going to understand you if so you say dirty. Yeah, dirty wee cow. Uh, next up. There are some cases, three of them, when we don't even say the T. Maybe this is easier. No, it's not easier. So we do two things. First of all, we can change it to a D and then we just completely take it out because we don't want it. We don't want that T, that pesky T. So if your T comes after an N, it's going to be silent. This is mental. So we don't say interview. We say interview. I got a job interview. <laughs> that was from uh, Rednecks Represent. So we say interview. We don't say interstate. We say interstate. Um, in case you don't know, um, an interstate in America is a highway. We do not call them interstates in Canada. We call them highways. That's fun. So interstate is only in America. America. Welcome to America. We also have the word international. So if you're an international person, we're going to take out the T and we're going to say international becomes international. Um, there are many of these. As I said, want, we say wanted. So all of these, we take out the T. This is a fun one. You'll hear people say, I don't know. I don't know. What? Don't know. So we take out the T. We say don't know. This is another reason why can't is confusing. When we say cannot, can, can't. Did you say the T? No. Oh. Why didn't you say the T? Now I don't know if it's positive or negative. What are you doing? So we say don't know. I don't know. We don't say printer. We say printer. We don't say enter, we say enter. The number 20, we don't say, we say 20. So check out our numbers, 20, 40, 30. Yeah, I don't know how we count here. <laughs> don't count, math is crazy. Rule number three. And this one's crazy as well. We're going to change two things. First of all, we are not going to say the T if it is with an N and between some vowels. And we're going to actually take out some vowel sounds. So for this one, we're going to remove two sounds. As an example, we don't say curtain, which it looks like. We actually say curtain. A curtain is a cover for your window. So people might say, close the curtain, which we said <laughs> it looks like, close the curtain. You're going to go climb up a mountain? No, you're going to go climb up a mountain. These vowels, we're going to take out the T and the A, and it's going to sound like mountain, curtain. Another example of the A is we don't say fountain, we say fountain. It's an example with the E. We don't say written, I do, but we actually say written. So we take out the T and the E, and we change it to an I-N. We don't say forgotten, we say forgotten. I've forgotten how to say the T. <laughs> I've forgotten to say the T. Um, this word is crazy. I always spell it wrong. 
I always spell it S-E-N-T-A-N-C-E, -E, but the pronunciation quickly is sentence. My brain goes sentence, but Americans and Canadians say sentence. Um, there's a phrase that people say about English is that we eat our words or we mumble. This is why when you guys listen to English, you think that we're very hungry and we're eating our words because we don't say everything. Go, rah, rah. Make a sentence. What? Sentence. Oh. So this one, sentence. Again, the T and the E, we're going to put to in. So we're going to sentence. The last one, and maybe the most delicious for us, <laughs> because we're eating all of these, is the T at the end of the word, we don't say it. Sorry, we don't say it. We don't say it. We don't say it. We don't say it. So if your T is at the end of the word in uh, English pronunciation, it actually has a fancy name. It's called a stopped sound. So. A stop sound just means we don't say the T. So we look at this and we say hot. And then you come to Canada, America, and people say hot. What? <laughs> I'm hot. Uh -huh. <laughs> so we're going to take out the T. We're going to say hot. For this one, something you wear on your head, we're going to say hat. Hat. Something on the floor is called a mat, or also a person's name. There are many people, many men named Matthew, is get certain some mat. But we don't say mat, we say mat. Mat, mat, maybe he's a goat. This word, if somebody has a lot of weight, we don't say fat, we say fat. A group or a parcel of land is called a lot, not a lot. There's a pesky animal, it's a rodent, and it's called a rat, not a rat. So all of these ones, here's another example. We don't say foot, we say foot, 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 foot. It sounds like we're not saying the T. I said this before, want, wanna. We don't say want, we say want, I want. I want, we don't say the T. Sit down. Sit down. We don't say sit down. We say sit down and don't smoke it. It's pot. <laughs> so when we say the word pot, we don't say the T. English. Craziness. Now, if you're studying English in another country, Australia, England, Ireland, Scotland, Wales, anywhere that's not Canada or America, you don't have to worry about this. But it'll help you perfect your American accent. So if you want to practice speaking like an American, <laughs> all you have to do is watch out for these four rules. Between two vowel sounds, or between a vowel and L or R, we change to a D. This is the most popular one, I think. Um, after the, or the most noticeable in my brain. After an N, we don't say the T. A T with an N, we change it to I-N, we don't say the T. And again, we don't say the T at the end of the word. So, I'm out of here.